New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the Morning, beautiful Laura Styles, Rosenberg, Kodak Black in the building. Give it up one time, yeah. First time. Yo, man, um, first of all, I got to be honest, I was skeptical. Um, on doing this interview, I saw your other interviews where he's wearing like a ski mask and all that, and I was like, ah, I'm not really interested in talking to this. But um, I gotta say, I looked at your rap sheet, I looked at your weed charges, smoking weed in front of your kid on the gram, and different things you've been going through. Um, and I know it's sensitive, but how you feel about everything that's going on? I got big wings, so not I'm talking about the devil be on my heels, but I got big wings. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff. It's like it's. A, it did seem like that you became a target at some point. And listen, I've been in and out since a baby. Really? Um, How old were you the first time? Fourteen. Yeah. When you look at all the stuff that you got on your rap sheet, right? Everything that you've been charged with. How much do you take accountability for? Um, how much was it your circumstances, right? Because a lot of things happen with people where they come from. I mean, shit. When you look at me, you won't even uh, like. Think, cause I be walking around smiling like, fuck it. I know? see you laughing. You always. You that, that's good. Of you we always see is smiling right. and laughing. Yo, so you know, ain't nothing worse than death. You know what I'm talking about? And I can already accept that. So it's like whatever. Mm -hmm. Hey, were you, do you were you around a lot of death growing up as well? Death right around the corner. You know, prison. My next door neighbor. <laughs> hey, got used to it. It is what it is. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Broward County, Florida. In Florida. Hey. And you're Haitian too, so hey. I passe and all that. Hey. I love that. I love that you embrace your Haitian heritage like that too. Right. Do you feel like where you're headed now, like you got more control over your life? And you know, you're making a lot of money, making a lot of decisions for yourself. God in control. I'm just sitting back. I'm, I'm laid back in the Maybach. In and the Maybach. <laughs> yeah, literally. And you're uh you went out to LA, right? And now spend all the time most of your time out there working? Yeah. yeah. How do you like the LA life? Shit, you know, it's a different time zone, so I'm in a different mind zone. Mm -hmm. Like different atmosphere. Did, better. did uh how long was the build for you? Because I remember like two or three years ago, it, it felt like when your name popped up, it felt like when you hit the mainstream, it happened very quick. And you became a star sort of overnight. Um, and then there was the controversy and all these different things. But how long was the actual build for you musically that you were working on? I mean, like, I've been famous since elementary school, so I don't care about it. That's why I walk around like, so what? You feel me? How were you famous in elementary school? What I just been like my like my whole family like like running streets. You feel me? So I was been popping since a jit. You feel me? So like, it don't matter. So you were used to it when the time came when the music started yeah. hitting. Yeah. And when did you start making music? I mean, I would, I, would, I would mess around early and stuff, but uh, like 2015, one time I had came on 2015, and I just, I just blowed up. Like, I just came home and just blowed up. Yeah. 2014 was um, Bodak Yellow was based on that. Um, what was the name of the song? Um, no flocking. No flocking. No that flocking. was the joint. Yeah. 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 That was the blow up. Yeah. So that was just something you just put on SoundCloud. Or how did it I work? was just messing around cause like no flocking when I made that. Uh huh. This this tutu right now. Go get go get go get him. So uh, when I made that, it's something like in Florida called flocker, right? Like a lot of people were smoking flocker, like what, a type of weed. Man, nah. Flocker, like man, like, like sherm or something. Is it man, like listen, a... like crackheads putting down a pipe for flocker, like uh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Like bath okay. salts or something. Yeah. So like about. a lot of my homeboys was smoking it in a like. My uncle started smoking and stuff like that, and it was like I was just clowning them. Right, like, right. really like like I really don't like that song that, though. Oh really? Yeah, I was just really saying anything. I was just clowning them like no flocking. You feel me? But, <laughs> and next thing you know, it's something it you're not taking up. serious. It blew up. Yeah. And I always got to perform that song. <laughs> and now oh when Bodak God. Yellow blew up, cause that's what two, three years later. Yeah. Bodak Yellow blew up three years later, and you own parts of that record too, right? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were Grammy nominated, right? Of course. Your name was on it. Was yeah. that that must be interesting too? Like that's a pretty unique experience to have a recent record that it's named essentially the record's named after you, right? Yeah. And yet it's become it was number one on Billboard. She's become the biggest pop star yeah. in the world, yeah. and her call to 
the number one calling card she has yeah. is your is a, is your his flow. It was his flow, really, and, and called was, Bodak. Yeah, and called Bodak. Yeah, Bodak yellow, Kodak black, Bodak orange, and stuff. Yeah. Now, did Cardi reach out to you when she was putting the record together? Ah, uh, she ain't reach out, but. I, I rock with her. That's twin B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my twin. That's B. So yeah. she creates Bodak Yellow. So that uh-huh. happens, and then you see that blow up. E. And but, then, and then, how does it work? Because you, did you have a relationship with her at that time, or she was just a fan nah, of yours? She was on the come up too, right? I don't know, but I know I get me me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Where did you get your sort of uh, the thing that draws me to your music, and I think that separates you from a lot of the other, although. You're from a part of the world that's been making some of the best music in hip hop the last four years. I mean, yeah. Florida has really set the tone musically. A lot of great guys for the last out. few years. There's a lot of talent there. But right. something that separates you, and I think it separated X to a certain degree too, yeah. is uh, melodies. Right. When I heard Patty Cake for the first time, that's when I realized that you really take to just melody making. Yeah. Do you have any sort of particular process, or are you just the kind of guy who gets in the lab and, and just goes? And you know, God, God, do that. That's why I made calling my spirits because I feel like I feel like it be spirits in the booth when I be in there. You feel me? So, hey. There's something about you, and I don't know what it is. I think it's the the the, the happiness, the 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 melodies, and the and the general craziness of your character yeah. that gives me an an a, a for me reminds me of old dirty bastard, which is a great compliment. Uh, I know I'm, we're a bit older. Unpredictability, so. you mean? But it's melodically, a of, and just the music kind of just voice. comes. Like, where does the music come from? You can't even quite tell. Right. But it's almost like you're just a conduit for yeah. music. Right. Are you familiar with Old Dirty's work at all, or no? I think transporting was off uh, his beat. That song I got transporting. I think oh. that was a sample off that transport. But you never listened to him in the early Wu Tang. That's a little midget, ain't it? Nah, you talking about Bushwick Bill, bro? Not Old That's Dirty. That's a midget. What, what what song he made? Uh. You talking about um uh, mine's playing tricks on me? Yeah, this that, year, that, Halloween that, fell on the weekend. Ain't he ODB? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. ODB's with the Wu Tang clan. Oh, you know that's. How old are you again, Kodak? Twenty one. Yeah, it's okay. Yo, you gotta learn about ODB, man. You, you, would, no, you, you would enjoy it. You're gonna enjoy it. If you if you do a deep dive on ODB, I really think you'd enjoy it, and you'd understand what I mean. All right. You dig it? Yeah. So this is your first time going around doing interviews. How do you feel about it? You having fun? It's great. I like it. Yeah. You having fun? What do you like the most about it? Just, just being out sure, that's it. Being free. Yeah. But you know there's something potentially bad around the corner, so you're enjoying it as much as you can. Yeah. Suck a baby dick. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> a, uh, wait, suck a child's penis? Yeah, like a baby dick. Give a fuck. Just don't. Like, whatever. Like, you feel me? Whatever happens. I'm blessed. Like, I, I be locked up. My stuff go platinum. Right. I drop an album in there. Like, I'm, I'm an innovator. I orchestrate. Yo, put these songs together. You feel me? And my, you know, go platinum. Mm-hmm. Like, that's great. Like, you can't stop greatness. Everything fall in place. I don't be worried about Talk nothing. closer to the mic for me. So we'll I don't be worried about nothing. They think. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when I first heard you rapping, I didn't understand what you were saying. It was like, um... It's like how you talk. My twain. I really went in and started reading your lyrics because it was, uh... What was the song? You don't believe me, Jing. Yeah, jeans piece. But I thought it was dope. I thought it was dope, the song, because it was like you were talking about how you couldn't believe in people and they believed in, in, in things that were, or they said they believed in things that were actually fake and they were just contradicting themselves. I thought it was a dope-ass record. Some people probably just listen to it and don't listen to the words and stuff because I, like, I be noticing like, like the songs that I really drop, it really be for the streets, it be deep, right? But like... Them type of songs don't hit the radio. Like mm-hmm. y'all ain't finna play that. Like no, something is not for mainstream pain, consumption. Y'all wanna play blah 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 bullshit, right? That's yeah, a fact. That's, yeah, that's we what y'all play. We agree with you. So I kind of made. I really ain't like really like ruling peace, kind of. But mm. but you thought it was like simple. You thought it was like uh, too basic. I kind of made it like with the new wave, like yeah, all that yeah stuff. Oh, but right, I was right. still kind of like really talking about like. You so you like getting to these raps though? You like really. Get into these raps. Yeah, yeah. So you like getting to these raps. You think you get credit for your bars? For the fact that you can actually spit? They gonna gravitate to it. They gonna gravitate. They gonna gravitate. I don't know when, but they gonna gravitate. They gonna gravitate. How did, uh, even though it's not your favorite record, how did the record with X come together 
and how lo- how how uh, how how tight was your relationship? I really was finna throw it in the trash and stuff because like I had so much music and stuff. But O O was like uh, send it to um X. You were like he finna send it to X, so he sent it to him and Brett did it. I was like, you think this should make my album? Cause I had so much song. They were like, yo. So. Um, and you were actually each other before that collaboration. Nah, we knew each other. Like he from a, he from where I'm from, but he from like a whole other little section. Got it. And stuff. And how long had you guys been on each other's radar for for a while? <sighs> okay, that year, that year before I came home, I would listen to a song on the radio. Look at me, Literally, look at yeah, me. Yeah. I'm like this shit right. You feel me? And uh, when I came home, they were like, yeah, he rock with me and stuff like that. Oh yeah, because when Look at Me blew up, you were gone, and then you came yeah, back. Yeah, and it was it was still it was such a smash. Yeah, yeah, that record took over really really big. Um, what is a ZZ? Pull, I printed out your lyrics, so I know what. Uh, I pull up in a demon on guard. I know what that is, but what's a ZZ? I ain't wanna call it Z shit, cause like I wanted to be like more radio friendly. And stuff like I ain't want when you download it on iTunes and it's called Z shit. Cause right, you right, probably right. don't want your kid like Z shit. No, nah, I don't download that. Man, so, my kids probably not listening to this anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so so I called it Z Z. You feel me? Make it easier. But what yeah. is Z shit though? What is that? Z like I'm 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 a Z zombie on Earth. Zo. Got it. Um, ah, okay. got, it, got, it, got, got it, got it, got it. So got it, got it. Did you see uh, Jay Z released a uh, a track list of all his favorite songs of 2018 and that was part of it. That's real. That was one of it. Did you yeah. see that? I ain't see it. It's kind of tight. You uh, you met Ho before? Yeah, I met him at uh, did it party. Great guy. Did y'all talk at all or just a quick hello? We chopped it up real quick. Yeah. Yo, how many hits you have? Tunnel Vision. Let's see. Lockjaw with French. You on that joint? Now you got ZZ. These are main. These are mainstream records. Patty Cake was pretty big. Yeah. Patty Cake was bigger than those. No, not bigger than those, but it was. It, it did its thing though. And this uh project that you have coming up. Yeah. Um, what's the title of it? Dying to Live. Dying to Live. Yeah. Um, what's the collaborations on there? Who you got? Of course, uh, Offset and uh, Travis Scott for ZZ. Yeah. I got um, Lil Pump, Let's Get Gnarly, and uh, Mosh Pit, Juice World. That's mm. it. Yeah, and that's the rest it. is just you with the bars, telling your stories. Yeah. You often reference how the world is against you and you feel like the world is against you. Um, is that how you still feel? The world don't favor the vultures. You know what I'm talking about? So, so lately I've just been like most serene because I'm gonna like fly like an eagle mm-hmm. and stuff. But, uh, shit, yo, that, you feel me? Yeah, the people on the bottom, the world doesn't favor. Yeah, the world don't favor the vultures. And yeah. Stuff. It don't favor. I don't really believe in karma, but I feel like the world don't, it, it don't favor us. It don't favor us. So, I gotta stop like living and thugging so hard so the world can soften up yeah. around me. That's interesting. You're even taking responsibility for your own energy you putting out, which is dope. What what brought you to that realization? Just you know, I know like like uh like a good fruit, like a like a good tree ain't gonna produce no bad fruit. Like and the bad tree ain't gonna produce no good fruit. So yeah. Just that. What made you? But you said something that's interesting because you said you don't really believe in karma. Yeah. But then you, I don't want to believe in karma. Ah, because then you followed it up by saying, but you want to put out better energy to get. So it seems yeah. like you're struggling with karma. I don't want to believe in karma because I, cause I just don't want to believe in karma. I don't want to believe that. You want to be defiant. That's what it is. I don't, don't want to feel like that. So you. So that's in, that's interesting. You feel that way, but because you don't want to think that the stuff that has happened in the past would come back. I don't want to feel like what I did gonna come back. But at the same time, if you do believe in it, it does mean that moving forward, the energy that you put out could bring back positive energy. Sort of. So it's kind of like it's kind of like contradicting. But at yeah. the same time, I don't want to believe in karma. We all we are we are all walking contradictions. So yeah, yeah, be comfortable me. in that space. Yeah. You gotta also know the universe doesn't give second chances, man. Hopefully, this time you're gonna have a better outcome. And you know, don't fight the universe either. You're super successful, but can you talk about the new artists that, that you've signed? Tutu. Tutu, Golden Animal, Jet West. Yo. And how, what's your relationship with him? How do you know him? I rock with him. I feel like, you know, we speak the same language. Like, he's one of me. He's just from different areas. 
And how did you connect with him? How did you discover his music? Like I say, like I felt like he's one of me. So, you know, everything fall in place. Look, man, at this point, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Um, you know, looking at all your, your cases and everything you've been through, and I know the recent one right now is very sensitive. And with respect to, you know, everybody involved in that case, you know, we can't get into details today. Um, but, you know, we take sexual assault here serious. And we can't, you know, uh, get into details, but we hope, you know, to have you back so we can have a, a deeper conversation about that because, you know, this is a serious topic. And we're hearing these stories a lot. Um, one thing we were talking about on the show today that for some reason I just have a hunch that you would care about is the idea that landing on the moon was a conspiracy. Kodak, do you believe that our moon landing in 1969 actually took place? What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You seem upset that I brought it up. I feel like <clears throat> sometimes when niggas like we going through shit, like y'all be entertained by bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So it's like change the subject on from the walk out. We'll change which subject? Just whatever. Like, well, no, first, they tried to change the subject. They was talking about. The moon landing. That's bullshit, too. So uh -huh. talk about something else. Well, I was saying, I, I think... We I don't have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right, I'm gone. Say less. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, I don't know. I don't, people don't tell me what to talk about on my show. Huh?